And we're going to get some perspective from the other side of the street now. We go to Baton Rouge and the head of the Family Research Council, Tony Perkins. You were not uh, happy to see this ruling, were you, Mr. Perkins? Uh, well, Bob, certainly these, both uh, of these cases were uh, disappointing, uh, although I have to say on the, the California case, the Prop 8 case, uh, the, the, uh, uh, Mr. Olson and Boyce, they, they actually wanted to use that case to impose same-sex marriage on the entire nation. They failed in that. The court simply punted it back to California. We still have, even without California, 37 states that define marriage as a union of a man and a woman. But I, I will say it's certainly disappointing, and, and many Americans are upset with the activism of this court. Essentially what the court has done is that they have, uh, they've, they've dragged we the people from behind the wheel of this republic and they've carjacked the nation. And this never ends up good. I, I think what you're going to see is this leads, as we're already seeing over the weekend in California, lawlessness. And, and this is not good for our republic. Well, uh, you just heard Mr. Olson here. He said, hey, uh, things are changing. Uh, there's a new day here. People feel much differently today about all this than they did uh, even uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, he would say that you're just behind the times. Well, you know, just last year, the, uh, another state voted to put marriage as the union of a man and woman into their state constitution. The whole time this has been unfolding, in the last 10 years, we've had uh, over 30 states vote on this. Currently, 30 states have constitutional amendments defining marriage as a union of a man and a woman. Another eight states define it in their statutes. So the, the real poll that counts here is not, because you, you, Bob, you know this, you can get the results based upon the question you ask. The real poll is what people do when they go to the polls and vote on this. And still, uh, almost every time, they vote for the natural definition of marriage of a man and a woman. So what do you do next? What, what is your next move in this? Because clearly you think this uh, fight is uh, still to be fought, that it's not over. Well, I think you're right, Bob, uh, because there was a silver lining in this. As I said, the, the, those that were challenging Prop 8 did not go simply to see the court punt. They wanted to see that case used to impose same-sex marriage on the entire nation, and they failed in that. That buys a little time, I think, because I think Americans will begin to see that with same-sex marriage uh, does not come a hope chest. Rather, it's a Pandora's box. Uh, what we'll see is the, the loss of religious freedom, the loss of parental rights. I mean, we're going to see parents who uh, pay taxes to send their kids to school. Those schools are going to start teaching those children values that are in contrast with the parents. We're already seeing bakers and florists and photographers forced to participate in uh, same-sex marriages under the threat of law and in some cases even jail. I can't think of anything that's mon more un-American than that. So I think as Americans see that there's a lot more to same-sex marriage than simply two people who love each other, that they'll have time to reconsider this and, and, and decide whether or not we want to trade fundamental freedoms of speech and religion for the, the, the right of two people who love each other, which they can do now. They can live well, together. But can they redefine marriage and the rest of society with it? Uh, how is it that bakers and florists are being forced to participate in this? I'm not sure I understand what you're saying here. Well, we're seeing in, in Washington State, uh, Colorado, and some of the other states that have these anti-discrimination anti statutes that uh, are being imposed, that when a same-sex couple comes and says, I, I want you to take pictures of my uh, wedding or I want you to bake a cake, and they say, well, look, my religious uh, convictions will not allow me to participate in that, they're literally being sued by the government, not the individuals. Uh, and they've even be, been uh, adjudicated in such places as New Mexico. So we're going to see a loss of religious freedom. There is no question about it. It's already happening. Where, where, how, many, how many lawsuits have been filed on that? Because I must say this is under my radar. I haven't, I haven't heard this. Well, you know, Bob, that's a great point because the media is not reporting on this because they realize there's a lot more behind this than the, the marriage altar. It's literally about altering the landscape of America. Uh, there are a number of suits. In current, I mean, just uh, a few weeks ago in Colorado, one was filed. So th this is happening, and it's the reality that people will come to fa face to face with over time. Because right now, same-sex marriage is limited to 12 jurisdictions, and as more people see that their freedoms, the freedoms of parents to de determine what their children are taught, to be able to live your life according to your faith, that all of that's at risk here. I, I think people will say, "Wait a minute, that's not." I, I gave a nod of affirmation, but not to that. 
And, and so I, I do think there's going to be time to rethink this. Uh, what, what is your next move, though? Will you focus on trying to find some new kind of legislation to propose? Uh, what, what exactly uh, are you going to do from here on? Well, there's a few things. Uh, one, looking from a federal perspective, I've spoken with a number of member of Cong members of Congress, and I do think that, uh, again, uh, this activist streak from Justice Kennedy in writing the opinion for the majority on DOMA overstepped a lot of the research that uh, was used to pass DOMA back in the mid-90s. I mean, uh, Professor uh, Arcus, uh, Hadley Arcus, uh, even Hillary Clinton's own work uh, was cited as reasons for wanting to protect the, the traditional and natural definition of, of marriage. Uh, that was not talked about, and even more studies have come out. The social sciences make clear that the government has a rational basis for defining marriage as a union of a man and a woman. So I think there's some steps federally to look at for federal purposes uh, that the court did not directly approach. And then, of course, uh, going back to the states and working to promote both marriage and uh, strengthening those strongholds of those states that have marriage protection amendments in their state constitutions. All right. I think uh, you're going to see more of a containment strategy going forward. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Perkins. I'll be back uh, with some personal thoughts about another issue, immigration reform.